problem solving. Irritated and red skin. The skin around the stoma may become irritated and red if it comes into contact with stool from your ostomy. The best action to prevent this is to keep the opening of the skin barrier as close to the edge of the stoma as possible. Don't wear the skin barrier for too long. Examine the barrier and check for any exposed skin or liquid seeping under the barrier. If there is seepage, change the barrier and you may need to use paste to fill in any gaps. Measure the stoma during each pouch change for at least the first three months after surgery. If the skin is irritated or weepy, wet, apply skin barrier powder before applying the pouch system. Lightly apply the powder and then brush off the excess. You may need to apply skin sealant or skin prep on top of the powder before applying the pouch system. Barrier not sticking. If you're having trouble getting your barrier to stick to your skin, this may be because there is hair underneath it or the area around the skin is not clean. If cleaning the skin and trimming the hair with scissors does not solve your problem, you may need to try another barrier. Contact a certified ostomy nurse for suggestions and assistance. Signs of infection. It is normal to have redness around the edges of the stoma while it is healing. If you have redness extending beyond a half inch around the incision or stoma, pain at the incision or stoma site, white or beige fluid draining, or itchiness and tiny red bumps, you may have an infection and should contact your ostomy nurse or doctor. Diarrhea. Stool can become watery if it passes through the intestine very quickly, before the water and electrolytes are absorbed. Diarrhea usually comes on suddenly and can be accompanied by abdominal cramps. If you experience diarrhea, watch for signs of dehydration such as dry mouth, thirst, and decreased urine. Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water as part of your normal routine. Drink replacement fluids such as broth or oral electrolyte solution. Examples include Pedialyte and Gatorade. The risk of dehydration and salt loss are especially concerning for the ileostomy patient. If your diarrhea lasts more than two days, call your ostomy nurse or doctor. They can help you adjust your diet and prescribe medication to slow down your intestine and decrease the amount of stool loss. Bleeding. You may see a spot of blood on your stoma, especially when cleaning or changing the pouch. This is normal, and it's because the stoma has a good blood supply and no longer has the protection of your skin. The bleeding should stop within a few minutes. If you want, you can use a moist cloth and apply mild pressure for a minute. If you see blood in your pouch or the bleeding increases, call your nurse or doctor. Stoma Prolapse Stoma prolapse means the stoma becomes longer so that it sticks out or protrudes above the surrounding skin much more than it once did. As long as the stoma remains red and stays moist, this is not a medical emergency. However, we recommend that you contact your doctor and let them know this happened. Stoma retraction. Stoma retraction means the stoma is functioning at or below skin level so that it appears to be shrinking lower than the surrounding skin. It is extremely unlikely that the stoma will disappear, but stoma retraction can make it more difficult to maintain a good seal on the pouching system. This is not considered a medical emergency, but if you have problems with your pouch seal, call your ostomy nurse or doctor. No output from ostomy. Your ostomy is usually active, if you have a four to six hour period with no output from the stoma and you have cramps or nausea, you may have an obstruction. There may be blockage or internal changes such as adhesions. Sometimes gently massaging around the stoma site can expel the food blockage. Call your nurse or doctor if you continue to have blockage. If you experience any of the following things, Contact your surgeon or ostomy nurse immediately or go to the nearest emergency room. A deep cut in the stoma. Severe color change in the stoma from bright red to a dark purplish red. 
a large amount of continuous bleeding, over four tablespoons, into the pouch, continuous nausea or vomiting, severe cramping and no output from the stoma for four to six hours.